Hello to the people of Trinity Cathedral. My name is B.J. Owens. I'm the Dean of Trinity Cathedral in Cleveland, Ohio. When is it time for us to return to in-person worship? If you ask uh, a number of, of people in the cathedral, you will get different answers. You will get very strong answers on, on both sides. Uh, about a week and a half ago, we offered a, a short survey to get a sense of what uh, what you're feeling, what's going on, what, you know, your own readiness to come back. Uh, we have, as a vestry and, and in working, me as the dean, working with the vestry, uh, we continue to ask this question. We, we did not uh, early on say uh, we're just going to close down until, uh, until a virus, excuse me, a vaccine is discovered, uh, which would have been a fine way to go, but rather what we're doing is, is taking it um, a month at a time, uh, nor did we say we're just not going to worry about it and we're going to open up and ask everybody to wear masks and everything's going to be just fine. Um, we, I don't think that would have been the right answer. Uh, so, I'm, But he, that, that means that we don't have that really clear uh, answer of what to do in any given moment. And I know that there is a desire for, um, for that kind of clarity, and I know a lot of it comes out of so much of our, our world is kind of turned upside down right now, and, and we, we lose a lot of the freedoms we're used to having. And one of the hardest things to say is, I can't give that kind of clarity. Um, the, what we, but what I can do, and what we can do, is uh, prayerfully discern to the best of our abilities what, what the right thing is for the congregation, for our spiritual lives, for our safety. And our vestry, in our vestry retreat, someone raised a really powerful question which is, what do we lose by not being together? That doesn't mean, um, therefore, we need to make X, Y, or Z decision, but rather, uh, let's name it. Let's name how difficult it is to not be gathering together on a regular basis. Um, of course, we miss our friends. We miss seeing one another. We miss receiving the Eucharist. We miss the mystery of of the cathedral, the space, gathering around the altar. I, I just don't think there's a way to replicate that mystery um, from our couches. We miss, uh, as, as helpful as Zoom is, um, we miss interpersonal, in-person interaction. We miss all those, those small change conversations that cap happen at coffee hour, in the sacristy cleaning up, in the receiving line afterwards. There's just... Uh, church is such a multi-dimensional, multi-layered way of being together, and and when it's Zoom, it's kind of one channel, and 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 you know something, boy, it, something's just really missing, with, without a doubt. When I'm celebrating the Eucharist and I'm doing it in front of a camera, to me, it is not the same as when I'm gathered by each and every one of you all, um, and that that is that is a loss. Um, but what about people who are really suffering? Uh, and and need that 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 companionship and that support. What about people who are going through a, a crisis of faith? What if someone you know or love in your family that is really struggling with um, the meaning of of the meaning of Christianity? What it means to follow Jesus? What it means to claim this this life? Um, when a lot of times in our wider cultural that story isn't being told very well. Um, Oftentimes, just being together helps to, to give some meaning to that, and we don't have that. We lose the disciplines, the rhythms. All of this is very, very real, and this is something that I am thinking about a lot and something that I know that um, our vestry is talking about as well. Well, the survey results, uh, to share you this pretty simple survey, which is basically how to feel about coming in. Um, about half of the congregation, a little more than half, said I'm, uh, they'd like to return. Um, of the remaining, 24% said maybe, 20% uh, said no. That's for in-person worship in the cathedral. About the same amount said they'd come for in-person gatherings, uh, small groups in the cathedral. Uh, and But a lot fewer people said yes, they would come back uh, for uh, in-person uh, meetings in a conference room, that kind of thing. About 34% said yes, 27% said maybe, and 38% said no. So 
this is this helps the vestry to make a decision. Uh, as I have said before, we have a reopening committee that has done the work so that we know that when we feel we can do it as safely as possible, we can control what we do. Of course, we can't control what is going on in the outside world. We can't control the virus. Um, so they've done their work. Uh, and, and we certainly, um, we, we have the financial means. There's, some, there, there's, not a, there's no problem there. We're not trying to save money by not having uh, in-person services. Um, simply put, we feel that especially as the, 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 the virus warning levels in Cuyahoga County are very clearly on the rise. Uh, we recently in the last week moved to a red level, uh, meaning uh, we are at record level hospitalizations in Ohio, uh, which meant those met that measures the red measures a number of metrics, uh, almost all of which are going in the wrong direction. And we don't know how long it's going to be like this. Uh, and so while we will continue to look for ways, uh, for example, to find ways for children's and youth ministries continue to gather, uh, talking about finding ways for support groups, AA, uh, to gather safely. We do not uh, feel that it is time to change the direction in terms of uh, having in-person worship um, uh, on a regular basis. And I realize by not doing it outside, that really limits us. So I just want to express, um, we realize, I realize, what we're missing and how very difficult it is. We need to remember that uh, our call is, if we are the 99, to think about the one, the two who are most particularly vulnerable. Um, this survey is really helpful uh, in terms of understanding where we are as a congregation. The vestry has read all of the comments. I have as well. Um, the vestry is also concerned about the people who would be affected by this. Um, obviously, we don't want people to get sick. Uh, we don't want those who are gathered to then go and um, uh, get other people sick. But we also are concerned about people who, uh, namely staff and ministry leaders, who would not have the choice uh, that, that the congregation would have in terms of coming together. And I think that's really rooted. I'm grateful to the vestry for thinking in those terms because that that's very much rooted in um, being concerned for the one, for the two out of the 99 or 100 who are most vulnerable. Even though our survey said, yes, 50% of us are ready to come back, uh, we have to be mindful uh, of, of that impact as well. So I continue to welcome your thoughts and your feedback. Uh, as As I've said, I, there are strong opinions across the board. What I really hear um, largely is support and appreciation to, to our vestry, to our leaders uh, for um, the hard work of this discernment. It is hard work. There is no clear path. Uh, I have questions that uh, questions like who, who's on the reopening committee, which we've shared before. You're welcome to reach out. I'm more than happy to share that again. Uh, and uh, you know, questions about how we come to this decision, how we continue to have the conversation. Um, I, I also know that um, you know there's concern about what happens if people need to go to church and Trinity is not open um, or not open for in-person worship. Um, and I feel that anxiety too, and I appreciate folks bringing that up to me. My first commitment is to making sure that you are spiritually cared for. Uh, I hope that is through through the ministries of Trinity. Uh, but you know, as a cathedral, we get to celebrate the ministry of other churches, uh, whether they're in our diocese or even not uh, churches beyond the Episcopal Church. And if in this moment, uh, you're being fed in a different way, or maybe you're following our online services from time to time, but you're also checking in on uh, a, a more local church, um, then I, I actually celebrate that. Um, I'm sorry for that we're not able to be together yet, um, but I want you to be cared for. Uh, and you know, perhaps you might even, when you're there, bring your notebook. Take a not pay attention to what other churches do, not just in terms of how they manage the virus. That's that's you know that's important, and we're following that. But you know what do you, what do you hear and learn about the life of other churches that you might bring back to Trinity? Could this be a moment 
not of anxiety or even turf, but of, of cross-pollinization, where we share resources and, and learn from that. And then bring that back to our conversation, uh, whether here and, you know, as we're doing it virtually or when we're rather to gather back in person. Friends, I invite your, your thoughts, your comments. Uh, I'm so grateful for your prayers. I'm so grateful for your participation, for your continued giving, uh, and your enthusiasm for the ministry of Trinity, even at such a challenging time. Hold all of us in your prayers. Blessings to each and every one of you.